We've taken a look at this pre-book company's gaming PCs before, and we have not been impressed, but we got this one on sale. For $349, we have a crazy looking computer with an RX 580 and an i7 processor. Has this company gotten better? We're about to open up and find out, but first, a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Nexigo and their Gen 2 Grip Cons and NS32 controller. Both controllers have six axes gyroscope for tilt controls and dual vibration motors for immersive haptic response. This allows you to fully immerse yourself in your gameplay, improving the experience immensely. They also have customizable RGB lights around thumbsticks, allowing for a nice, unique aesthetic. The Hall Effect GripCon features Hall Effect thumbsticks, which use an electromagnetic sensor as opposed to a physical sensor. This prevents stick drift from developing over time, as the dust, oil, and debris that build up over time can't prevent the sensor from making connection. The NS32 is compatible with all versions of the Nintendo Switch, including the Switch Lite and OLED Switch. Since it uses a Bluetooth connection, you can even use it with a Windows PC, Mac, iPhone, and Android. This makes it a great universal gaming controller. Another nice feature about both is the turbo mode, which allows you to hold down a button to trigger a fast series of button presses. This comes in handy during certain mini games or even fighting games. The best part is Nexigo is giving away these controllers and they're taking entries through the end of the year. Use secret code Toasty Bros to get 5 extra entries through the link in the description down below. And if you can't wait, check out their website to buy them today. Big thanks to Nexigo for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get back to it. Man's got a knife! I got a knife. To open a box, of course. Only safety around here. So yeah, shout out to, um, well, I wouldn't say our favorite. We've had a lot of <laughs> issues in the past. Alarco, another computer we bought from them on eBay. This is a, I'm just gonna read the title. i7, check mark. 16 gigs, check mark. 512 gig SSD, check mark. Win 10, check mark. Wi-Fi, check mark. RX 588 gig, gaming PC desktop computer. Check and this mark. was uh, $349 and it has something special about it that you'll see once you take it out. Yep, so this is a company that we've looked at a lot of their computers and I think one thing we will say is every single one I believe has worked. It's worked. Yeah, yes. they've always worked, but they're definitely a out of country manufacturer to our knowledge and uh, the customer support we haven't really had to test. So we're just gonna say that there isn't a uh, bunch of mini. There we go. Probably the worst example of a company that goes crazy with the case, crazy with the RGB yeah. and goes for very old hardware. So that's really the problem we have with it. But we're gonna see if this i7 is better than what I think it's gonna be a second gen i7. And if it is with that 580 at $349, it might actually be a good buy. Now, the other thing that I'm already wondering, do they market this 580? is a 2048 because they I don't. know it they is most, going to be one. They most certainly do not. The title yeah. says 588 gig. I even put on Trello the full description. So it says, even in the description, you scroll down to the description, it even says i7 3.4 gigahertz. They don't even <laughs> tell you the i7, which makes me think second gen. Uh, and it just says RX 588 gig. Oh my God, it's in this case? <laughs> it's in this case. Well, I say this case. Is this a B gear? It is B gears. It's B gears, baby. Yeah, yeah, we've actually used this case. Oh God. Uh, oh, oh, oh no, the table, the table said, whoa. All right, we're getting some sneak peeks here, guys. Yeah, this is a this is a pretty interesting case. This is like a, uh, oh my God, it's still, it still <laughs> comes with that. Dude, this, uh, we keep saying this, this is the same one that has been in their PCs for a long ass time. <laughs> is it there? It's there. I mean, it's been at least five years that they've been including that You're same thing. You're missing something very important here. <laughs> Wait, is that Star Wars? <laughs> I don't understand why, but it's kind of cool. Yeah, what what fell, what fell in there, John? Was there I something? just fell in there. Right. It's not like a piece of paper. Is there something in there? But did anywho, you, yeah, this is what kind of stood out. They had a Star Wars one and then they had a Fortnite one, but the Fortnite one was like $100 more. And I'm oh. like, if we're not paying $100 more for a Fortnite graphic. We're going with Star Wars today. Oh, it's just like a plastic baggie. Thought we saw that. Wi-Fi and, you know, remote. So our goal with this video wasn't just to buy the worst deal we could find, right? That's usually most of our PC videos. We could find some really bad deals, but let's be real. Most of you know they're bad deals. We don't need to tell you that. So we were actually hoping that this is a decent deal. So why spend a hundred dollars more on Fortnite? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, gotta love Fortnite, especially when they don't update this graphic. I mean, this is from like season two and they even recommend 1600 by 900 with an RX 580. That's not a good start. <laughs> I like this right here. Please don't. Okay, Jonah. Just, just please just no. don't even. Yeah, cool little case has some RGB fans that are not like true ARGB or anything. They're like proprietary. We've got a silicon power 512 gig SSD, which is cool. I'm glad it's not like a random brand. This almost looks like, uh, this is low profile RAM. That's a weird which choice. kind of funny. We'll know really soon what level of i7 it is, if it's DDR3 or DDR4. I'm assuming it's gonna be DDR3. DDR3. Okay. Man, this is, yeah. look how cute this RAM is. It's, it's some so serious low profile stuff. Okay. Um, we have a stock cooler that is cooling an i7, which isn't the most ideal. I mean, let's be real. If it's, we know it's somewhere between second and fourth gen, 
So it's gonna be just fine with the stock cooler, but we could definitely see some more performance out of an aftermarket one. Uh, the RAM is dual channel, so that's good. Is it advertised as 16? Yes, 16 gigs and then that 512 gig SSD. Yep, okay, and then this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is a RX 580 8 gig 2048, which basically <laughs> means it's a 578 gig. Yes, you gotta advertise that. It's fine saying it's a 580, yeah. but you have to say it's a 580 2048 because it's not really a 580. And this is uh, an example that we've seen a lot of pre-built companies. Power supply is in a PVA 700 watt Spirit power. I got the uh, Spirit. I don't think that those have any like ratings or certifications really, which we do like a PVA, but I will say the power supplies, unless you get like the really nice gold series ones, they're they're not any good really. This will probably pull no more than 200 watts. Oh my God, it is. Oh, wow. so it is an ARGB. I literally just take so. back everything I said. They oh. actually have, let's make sure. Yeah, wow, these fans are actually ARGB. That's pretty good. So I'll give the company some props for either using this this case that came with the fans or adding the fans even, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, I guess we gotta turn it on and see what that ARGB looks like. I mean, cable management in this case is a little difficult. I mean, you really can only just shove your cables here and then run what you can it's not through bad, the though. back, but it's not bad. It's actually pretty good. I kind of, I, I like, but I also don't like that it looks like they used a SATA cable to like wrap around <laughs> the cables for cable management. Dude, that's crazy. That's kind of, you know, smart, I guess, but. McAllister, what would you say if someone pulled up at the LAN party with this? <laughs> Execute Order 66. Oh, yeah. Execute say, Order 66. They look like a big Star Wars fan. Yeah. Well, let's turn this thing on and see what it looks like. But $349. It looks like a high end computer. And any average person would look at it and be like, whoa, that's crazy for $349. But we got to see if it can game. Does that have like an RGB just, button or a remote or anything? Uh, we have a remote. Okay. It may also be on a button, but I don't want to risk restarting it on like a first time boot up. We're on the brink of RGB discovery. But uh, yeah, we should probably just go ahead, install some games, figure out what that i7 is. My guess it's the second gen i7. What's your guess? I'm gonna say third. Third no, gen? We're going second gen. Second gen, second, third I'm gen, third. second. All right, we're gonna see what we have and we're gonna play some games on it. All right, guys, we are playing Apex Legends and we are currently at pretty low settings. So 1080p, basically all low. We could lower like one or two more things, but um, it's playable right now. A little chunky. A little chunky. And for those who guessed at home, it's an i7-2600, second gen. Like this company, oh, that was, that was pretty aggressive. This company only knows how to do old second gen parts and then new Piniums. Yep. So that, that seems to be the trend right now. So maybe maybe one day they'll get into the newer i7 territory. But right now they're sticking with this. And I mean, it's at least playable in games like this. I, th I, think, I think one day they're going to have to get into new stuff, you know? They will. This stuff's starting to get almost unusable, you know? It's getting it's very not there close. yet, but it's getting close. Yeah, Don't buddy. Don't need them in here with all that crap. Yep. Oh, that's a teammate. Don't worry, teammate. I'll help you. We can't give them another death for free. Ah. I hear someone. I hear someone. It started off chunky. Yeah, it has smoothed out. Oh. Where did... Half my shots. Yeah, buddy. Yay. <laughs> oh. Yup. 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 Yeah. You just stay woke is just in your <laughs> sights all the time. Yo. That was, <laughs> oh, it was an assist. What? Probably not going to get to him in time. I think the game's just going to end right here. One more kill, and, the game and your teammates did it. Yo. Champion. Well, Apex, uh, you know, Apex is one of those AAA titles we always brag about how well it runs on most of anything, and it ran well on this. So let's see what Fortnite can do, especially with that second gen i7. It's going to be scary. All right, guys. Well, we're in Fortnite uh, performance mode. I'm going to lower this down to... I wish there was something between 60 and 120, but we'll do 120. Uh, performance settings. Yeah, we're back in Fortnite. We were taking a break from competitive. We had a bad time yesterday, <laughs> a bad time. <laughs> um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let that you know sit a little bit, go back home, get ranked even higher, and then make it even worse. Mm -hmm. That's the strategy, ladies and gentlemen. But we're starting to see the limitations of second gen Intel. Yep, there's esports titles that really like to use the CPU instead of the GPU. And um, honestly, these settings are easier to run technically than the settings that come in that box, <laughs> even though they're really old settings. Uh, this should, in theory, be easier to run because that was even before performance mode was a thing. I'm not even sure if half of those settings are even still like mm. relevant. The yeah. menu doesn't even look the same. I mean, good on them for including it, but like maybe if you're gonna go through the effort of including <laughs> it, make sure it's updated. You know, it's it's one thing to say like updated every like few months, but it's like <laughs> updated every few years. Yeah, at it's least. been a couple years, <laughs> you know. There has to be somebody here. Ready to get one tapped.
Guys, is it time to retire? <laughs> <laughs> Got one. Oh, hey, right, what's up? Nice, nice. Driving along that old town road. <laughs> oh, that guy did not come to play. Ah! Ooh. ah! Hundreds of enemies at your disposal. Yeah. Right, well. <laughs> yeah. That that's your guy. Dang, his shields just never broke. The shields never broke. But hey, another 19 minute Fortnite run because you know what? I just can't get it we going. We love Fortnite. I, I just can't get it going. But hey, decent run this time and the PCs Okay, I think the price is not as bad as other Alarco PCs that we've seen in the past where they were just absolutely unusable. It's okay, but it's still second gen and for most people that's just a deal breaker, but we're gonna run 3D Mark Time Spy and compare it to our other PCs and then wrap this video up real quick. All right guys, we just got done benchmarking this eBay Alarco Gaming PC and you know, it performed pretty decent for the price. You gotta remember it is a pre-built at the end of the day. That means you do get some customer support and the fact that we didn't have to build it ourselves, we were just able to benchmark it was pretty nice. No blue screens, no errors, no real major issues. It's a little loud and it's in a really interesting case with some Star Wars going on, but hey, that's what we paid for. Yeah, and in terms of Fortnite performance, it was okay, but you start to see where that second gen i7 really holds you back in East sports titles and we've talked about this many times it's very hard to deliver good price performance in the pre-built market at the sub $500 mark because spending just $50 more building it yourself will yield so much more performance but there's got to be profit margin somewhere so we do understand having to cut corners but in terms of the 3d mark time spy score which will show you guys how the cpu and gpu performs we have getting a score of 3327 which for comparison purposes was a decent amount worse than a budget gaming laptop we reviewed recently with a 3050 and i5 11 400H, which we paid only $100 more for. And that was a laptop with a keyboard and screen and using the used market deal hunting. So something to consider that you will be getting less performance buying a pre-built at this price point versus building it yourself, but that's always the case. But we wanna hear from you guys. Let us know in the comment section down below what you think of this PC and would you pick one up if you're on a budget? Let us know. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Goodbye. This PC right here will be available at PCBros.tech with a new and improved one-year warranty. PC Bros will cover it even if something happens to it. We got you covered for a full year. And if you use code Santa5 for the month of December, you can save 5% on your next purchase. Hurry up, guys. This video, I think, is going live the day after Christmas. So you better hurry up. See you guys later. Goodbye.